Well, and thanks for watching KBOI 2 News First at 4. I'm Denny Hawkins, in for Brent and Natalie. The dotted line has been signed. Morgan Wagner tells us over 250,000 acres in Idaho are now protected under federal law. She joins us live in the studio with our top story. That's right, Denny. It's a bill that's been in the works for over 15 years to secure Idaho's bolder white cloud mountains with the highest level of protection possible. It was a race to see what could be passed first. Would the Boulder White Clouds Mountains become a national monument or would it become a protected wilderness area? It's a bit of a foot race at the end on as to which one would cross the finish line first. And on this day, the, well, the wilderness bill passed the finish line first and it, it provides the kind of protection that ICL has sought for decades. The Idaho Conservation League says protecting this upper salmon river region has been a priority of their executive director, Rick Johnson, for nearly 40 years. It's a project he's worked on alongside Congressman Mike Simpson. He traveled to the Oval Office to see the Sawtooth National Recreation Area in the Jerry Peak Wilderness Act being signed by President Obama. It's pretty uh, amazing experience to have uh, the President of the United States open the door and invite you into the Oval Office. The president says this bill is an important step in leaving a legacy for future generations. And Congressman Simpson agrees. It's certainly, I think, one of the gems, not just of Idaho, but of the country and maybe even of the world. I wanted to make sure that kids 100 years from now could enjoy and, and uh, see the Boulder White Clouds as they are today. The new law passed through the House of Representatives without a single rejection vote. The act breaks up the Boulder White Mountains into three new wilderness areas where people will still be able to recreate and camp, but will no longer have motor vehicle access to. Denny? 